you're about to witness sports mastery in the making. The only birdies and eagles you're likely to see are those flying overhead as you're about to watch me suck at mini golf. Hello and welcome to another edition of Watch Me Suck at Mini Golf. For people who know where I work and live, they've said you gotta come here and I've been wanting to for years. It's another one of those bucket list places I've been wanting to go to and we're here, Max's Country Golf for the Mini Golf here in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. A little more that way, like a mile or so is Pheasant Lane Mall. So they got mini golf, and we're not going to zoom in too tightly because there's kids around. And it's in there. We're going to go there. Hopefully there's no music. And if there is, we'll, we'll work around it or mute it all together like we did at Mason's. Anyway, let's go and see what's happening. And let's see how we do. All right, over here we have the putting, you know, the practice blue. That's if you really want to practice before sucking really bad. And why do that? Or well, we can suck right away. However, there's a family before us, and fortunately for me, it's a large one. So let's go over the rules of conduct. Let's go behind here where you can't hear it. And I dropped my pencil, that's okay. 15 bucks, no rough housing. 15 if you lose or damage a putter. No alcohol, shirts and shoes required. Oh, they're no fun. Improper conduct will cause management reserves the right to refuse admittance. There is music here and there. No more than five players in a group. Boy, they're not playing by that. All players tee off and don't matter. Player closest don't matter. Bombing moved six inches from sides, that matters. Leaves play area, place at point of departure, one stroke penalty, and six per hole. So, it appears that things have uh, freed up. I got my pencil and my thing back, so we're going to have to mute. Hole number one, ditch it, par two. Fortunately for music, there's not too much, and we don't have to mute too much of it. Anyway, we're just waiting for the family to leave, and this is where we start. And now that they've stepped off, we can show you the hole. It's pretty much just flat. However, there's a slight bowl around the hole, and slightly off to the right, there's your target. First shot, lining it up, and there it goes. Heading slightly to the right, then banking slightly left, and stops short of the bowl. This is for par. Ball just barely makes it to the lip, and goes left. Going for the bogey shot, and in it goes. These holes have names. I didn't pay attention at hole number two lower falls par two again the uh, for some reason the uh, dyed water anyway par two seems easy but probably not you start here and you got these berms they can probably mess you up if even if you go relatively straight but if you go perfectly straight you'll perfectly go towards the hole. First shot, lined up, and going to the right, bouncing off the berms, still set up for a good par shot. Going for par, there's the shot, and into the hole. Hole number three, inside of a miniature barn, which actually seems to be an actual barn. Hole number three, barnyard. 
R2. You start right here. And then you got a little bit of a dip here. Pretty long and complicated for part two. And it hooks right, and you can see the downhills right there. It's a very sharp one. And your object, the hole. First shot, off to the left side of the barn, and going towards the lip, and just not enough, and rolls back slightly. This is for par, long, difficult, and just goes down the hill instead. This is for bogey, and a one over it is. Hole number four, step down, par two. Can you guess why they call it step down? We start on this blue and step down to the green, step down to the blue, step down to the last green, to the hole. First shot and there it goes, down to the second step, down to the third step. And that's as far as it goes. Second shot. There it goes, and it doesn't even make it. For bogey. Here's the shot, and ooh, right by the hole. Tough break. For a double bogey, and ooh, by the hole again. What bad luck. Hole number five, it says it. Death Valley, par three. You're gonna have to hit this one hard. Another brutal mini golf course. You got a massive drop. And a massive climb. If we look at it sideways, look at that. Same thing that way. And if you can muscle it all the way up here, Hopefully, you'll get it soon into the hole. First shot. And there it goes. Hard hit. Up the lip. And into the hole. Hole in one. Hole number six on Golden Pond. Par three. We start here. And there must be a hidden trick here. Or as I call it, the sleeper. That should be easy to avoid. But then it does pitch down ever so slightly to this hole that is slightly higher on this side than that side. Here's the target. Let's see if we get it. First shot, aiming between the pillars and the right, and bounces off the right wall, goes into the well, and rocks back and forth. Set up for a good shot. Hole number seven, back door, par two. We start here, and then we go straight. Then there's a drop, and then we got this big uphill. But where's the hole? Right behind our friend, Mr. Rock. So, gotta make use of that skateboard, uh, Half pipe there, quarter pipe really, to get to the hole. First shot, and ooh, hit the rock, but then it bounces up onto the quarter pipe, goes back down. Wow, tough break. Second shot, very long, and so close, but so far. Hole number eight, bump up, par three. We start here. Remember the one we were dropping down? Now we have to hop up. Alley up right here. Steeper and slightly more gradual and a slight drop here. Pitches down ever so slightly to the hole. First shot, and there it goes. Up the first hill, up the second, over the hole didn't go in. 
going for birdie, and ooh, so close again. Hole number nine, high anxiety, par three. The layout is very confusing. There's a couple of times I wondered where you're supposed to go next. Anyway, you start here, and we got conundrum. You don't want to go there. You do probably want to go there, either that hole or that one, or take the safe route, and that's this way. And then there's a very steep cone section right here. Pretty much almost guarantees you're going into the hole. But where do these come out? The shallower one to the right and slight, uh, slightly off to the left, almost on center to that. So the hole is here and it's in a caved in area. First shot, going up the ramp, working its way into the right and hole in one. So far, it's not really looking all that bad. Initially, it's the typical one over, maybe some pars, like Lower Falls was the first on par. But then we got the big surprise on Death Valley where we actually got a hole in one. Very big surprise there. Then we got a birdie on Golden Pond. And then Bump Up was nice and even. And High Anxiety, well, you know, the way that is set up, it seems if you hit either of the two holes on that ramp, you would have got a hole in one anyway. I've seen other people get holes in one there, and so it seems to be a fairly easy hole. So far, as you can see with the asterisk, that's the par for where the front nine is, and we're just one over. We are at 23, should be 22, couple of holes in one, not that bad. How's the second half going to go? Let's find out. Hole 10, Bear Cave, part two. That was too easy. I'm e Either that or I was just stupid lucky. Here's the cave, looks more like a mine. And you go in. Fairly nice pseudo under the rock effect. But here's the hole and there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Especially when you go Hitting it just a hair too hard. Stalactites are nice. Stalagmites are pretty good too. There's the hole we're going for. First shot into the bear cave. There it goes, off to the left. Bounces off a stalagmite and just short of the blue carpet. Should be a fairly easy par with a sunken hole and in it goes. Wow, that was a long walk around. I guess the other way would have worked too, but if he knew to turn left, I'm, yeah, turn left. Anyway, here we are, hole number 11. And this is post time par three. Probably because now we're getting more posts. And lazy river rides. We start here. And just to left of your target are some posts. If you're really bad, more posts. And if you're unlucky, blue. Otherwise, relatively straight, although some slight roly pulleys to the hole. First shot, aiming between the blue carpet and the first set of posts. Slightly left and very close to the hole. Bounce back that may have helped. This is for a birdie. And in it goes. Hole number 12, cliffhanger, par three. It will make sense once I tell you. Here's where we start. And the hole is literally just 15 feet away. But we have this rise that goes all the way around and it drops here towards the blue rough. So it's not the easiest hole to get to, but let's see if we can make it to the hole. First shot, heading towards the riser. Up it goes, just barely, and very close to the hole.
Hole number 13, Horseshoe. Par 3. It's more like a 90 degree angle than a horseshoe. Anyway, once you make the turn, it is a very steep embankment. You need to hit it fairly good or take it at a sharp angle. And it still has a slight embankment, which eases out as you head towards the hole. First shot, starting off to the right. Aiming slightly left, going up the embankment, down the embankment, hitting the wall, and set up for a decent shot. Going for birdie, and in it goes. Hole 14, bridge the gap. That was cheap. It's because we crossed a bridge. Par two. I think he can start here. I see a mark there as well, but there's nothing defining the way. So I'm just gonna assume I can start here. And it's a relatively straight shot to the hole, but the hole goes that way ever so slightly. First shot, there it goes and heading towards the hole and slightly past it on the left. For even par, in it goes. Hole 15, whatever the heck it's called, loop-de-loop. -loop. Sounds familiar, like Mason's, except it's not Mason's. Par two, see, it's not like Mason's. You got, Mason's, you have a loop this one, you got a ramp, a blue ramp, and then it has to go up and around. And then it can take one of two avenues, that one and that one. The left one will bring you to the hole, the right one, not so much. First shot, seems pretty simple, but the blue rough, Oh, it's going back down. And it stays on. And rolls back a little bit. Where will it go? Apparently right there. Second attempt. Up it goes. And the rough blue just takes it and sends it back down. Third attempt up the rough, and there it goes. And around it goes. Long way, and way off target. Chance for double bogey, bad aim to the left. Hole number 16, boy, was that a tragedy right there. Leap of Faith part two. We start over here because I'm juggling stuff around and don't zoom out right away. It's a flat, but you gotta go fast enough to get over this. Other than that, it's a relatively simple shot to a hole on a hill. First shot, there it goes. Powerful hit over the gap, but way too hard. Ball is way past the hole for a very unlikely par, and just barely missed to the right. For a bogey shot, and just barely missed. Hole 17, ride the rapids, par three. Wow, things are falling apart. We start here, and we got two avenues. We're gonna attempt the safe route, but not likely gonna happen likely gonna go down the ramp, which then goes down that, which then comes out here. But apparently there's another hole that I didn't see, so there's a way one of these two gets you to the hole. First shot, over it goes off to the right, and very close to the hole. This is for an easy birdie, and off to the right. Hole 
Last hole, duck side, par two. Seems simple enough, but the way things are going, we start here. Very tight, there's another family directly behind me. Some minor roly polies that are really hard to explain, except the small divot right here, if you can get it there, it'll direct it into the hole of no return. For a shot, right to the hole, hits a bump that forces the ball way left, and ooh, very far away. For an unlikely par, way off to the left. And for the easy bogey. Well, the second half, it may or may not be as good. I mean, we had 11, 12, and 13. Those were one under. Surprisingly, cliffhanger of all of them. Horseshoe, yeah, a little bit of luck there. However, yeah, everything fell apart at loop-de-loop. -loop. The uphill plus the rough carpet really made it hard to do that one. Leap of Faith was another disaster piece as hit the ball way too hard to get over such a tiny gap. But then Ride the Rapids, that actually was on par and dockside. As I said, there were a lot of bumps. One I definitely didn't see, which took the ball away off to the left and made it difficult and one over par there. So for the front nine, we got the 22. But our actual shot was 23. And as you can see, once again, the plus side on the 17 indicating where we went over both for the course and for that particular half. And speaking of, we got 25 with the 22 that is expected. Grand total of 44. But we shot 48, which is 4 over. And that is actually... Good. Yeah, we had some tough times, but overall, it actually went fairly well. In fact, this is the best I've ever done. Second best is five over. So this actually, in spite of a few sucky attempts at some of the holes and some really bad shots, it wasn't all that bad. That will conclude this episode of Watch Me Suck at Mini Golf from Max's Mini Golf in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. This is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.